July 21st and 22nd, Thursday and Friday. The sun is in Cancer and the moon is in Taurus. I always think of Winnie the Pooh. It's so funny because cancers are the ones that really want to be in the deliciousness of walking outside where no one's there and they're just sauntering very slowly. And Moon and Taurus goes, let's stop and have some honey. <laughs> so Thursday and Friday, a great time to indulge a little bit. Give yourself the yum yum factor. It is Robin Williams' birthday on the 21st. He was a cancer. It's so surprising. No one knows that cancers are comedians. They're mimics. They can feel into other people and take on their energy and change characters. Boy, was he good at that. I'm thinking of a bad joke that he did that's sexual, so I'm not going to say it. But funny? Was he funny? Now, why didn't he have Moon in Taurus? Because he was a double water sign. So he was very emotional and nonverbal about it and didn't get the ability to expose his real self. And he suffered in great pain for how sensitive he was. That's not what it's like when the moon's in Taurus. So on Thursday and Friday, the moon's in Taurus. You have permission to slow everything down. We always pay attention. There's only one planet in air. That's Saturn and Aquarius. So there's a lot of Earth, a lot of water. Predominantly, there's like four planets in Earth right now, three planets in water, and not much in air. So in honor of Robin Williams, this is an emotionally wise combination at best. If a baby were born with Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Taurus, and they were given the gift of being slow and don't push them, and let them pull away from people when it's too much. That's what a Cancer Taurus wants to do. Go in their room and say, don't bug me. That doesn't mean they don't love you. It just means that they care more about their inner world being at peace than being highly stimulated by a mall, a theater, an airport that's like overwhelming. And if you have a strong child that's been nurtured to have Moon and Taurus, that would mean their mother was really good. Moon and Taurus tells us that their mother, the moon rules the mother, was stable. I remember reading Robin Williams' story and I had so much compassion because he was such a loner. Welcome to cancer. And he found it difficult, and there's no air in the sky, to communicate how much he was suffering outside the veneer because he had Pluto and Mercury conjunct in Leo on the midheaven. He had a lot of fire. That is not what's going on today. <clears throat> so there's only two planets in fire right now. Mercury's in Leo. Jupiter's in Aries. That gives us energy. And the question I have for all of us Thursday and Friday is, can you feel your feelings go slow? Honor the legacy of Robin Williams, who wanted nothing more than to bring us joy, but couldn't share his inner world. And I would encourage all of you to consider therapy or how do I get to the place where I can speak to my inner world on my terms? Every Cancer Taurus at the high road is a delicious human. I'm so excited to tell you the immersion is finally starting. August 1st to the 12th, there is an astrological event that I'm leading called the Astrological Awakenings Immersion. And all I want you to do is just sign up and we will be there for 10 days. There'll be a weekend off and I'm going to help you find your destiny. So here's the link. It's kind of simple. You just simply, it's free. I want you to know that. All you have to do is register at astrologicalawakenings.com and it's not going to take any time at all for us to be together in prayer, in meditation, and I'm going to remind you of who you really are and you'll finish this free immersion and go, why do I feel so much more myself? That's what astrology does and that's what prayer and meditation does. Come join me.